I was just out here at the baseball field doing uh, bro things when I thought, you know, what if I could use Python and statistics to simulate the World Series and then bet on it and make a lot of money? The only problem being that I know nothing about baseball and have no traditional experience in data science. The past couple years, I've dedicated a lot of time to betting on the stock market using algorithms, which in hindsight was probably a huge waste of time. However, this month I seem to be hyper fixated on baseball, which opens up many new and exciting ways to part ways with the cash inside my savings account. Now this is a, what the hell? You go play your fantasy video games, I'll make this video. The Major League Baseball organization makes modeling games very easy. Pretty much every statistic that could possibly be extracted out of a baseball game is extracted and then uploaded to the internet for you and I's pleasure, or more accurately, for corporations to make money off of it. Little do they know though is that I found a way to predict the outcome of a baseball game better than any of the sport betting casinos. Thank you. We can take all the data they give out for free, build a probability model around the pitcher and hitter's stats, and then simulate every single pitch of the baseball game. Subsequently netting us a lot of money. Probably. This is very untested theory. I started out by studying the MLB StatCast API, which is how they make all the pretty graphics on TV and also BaseballSavant.com. Pretty much any time the announcer says how far the ball went out of the stadium during a home run, it's using the StatCast API, and they'll make sure to tell you that it's sponsored by Google Cloud. It's still pretty awesome, though. To take advantage of the StatCast data with the programming language Python, we import the library PyBaseball, which is named aptly, of course. Here you see I can get a log of every single pitch in the MLB, how far it was hit, where it landed, who pitched it, where did it land in the strike zone, etc. What I then do is get all the event information for a pitcher and a batter and split it up into event likelihoods based on where the ball landed in regards to the strike zone. So say a pitcher had 260 pitches over the course of the input data set and 20 landed in each zone. We would then take each zone, so the 20 pitches, and calculate the likelihood that the pitch was a strike or if it was a ball or a field out or a single, double, triple, or home run based on the historical odds. We then have a probability distribution. A probability distribution for the batter and the pitcher that when combined will give us the most accurate possible representation of what will happen when a ball is thrown. We then use a separate probability distribution of just the pitcher's stats to determine where the ball is going to land in the strike zone. And uh, voila, we know exactly what's going to happen for every single at bat in the MLB. If we use this to simulate baseball games and let the simulation run for maybe like 10,000 games, we'll be able to see which team is winning more often and see if there's any sort of advantage to be had when comparing it to betting odds. And just like that, it's ready. Take me out to the game. Coincidentally, my home team, the Phillies, are, are playing the Atlanta Braves tonight. I ran the game simulation 10,000 times, and the Phillies won around 8,000 times, which seems fishy, but uh, f*** it. Go birds, you know? <laughs> it's the fifth inning. Phillies are up 4 nothing. I'm thinking maybe the simulation thing's on to something. They're getting some base hits. Trey Turner made a pretty bad error, but it didn't cause a run. And the big man himself, JT Real Mudo, hit a two-run bomb to center field. Nothing could go wrong. It's 10 of the game for Atlanta. And now the throw gets away, and here comes Acuna! And a run is... Makes the catch! Harper might be doubled up! The throw gets away! The throw to first! All right, so I'm 0 for 1. No big deal. I only need to win like 55% of bets to be profitable anyways. This is a numbers game. Game today is the Houston Astros at the Minnesota Twins. Once again ran the simulation, and by a sizable margin, around 61% it predicted the Twins to win over Houston. The 61% chance is more than what the sportsbook gave, so I said good deal, placed a bet on the Twins, and here we are. They, they lost 9-1. to we are 0-2 now, which isn't the end of the world. We can't make any real informed decisions based on only two games, but what sucks is that I procrastinated until the playoffs, and so there ain't many games left before the World Series. Two games today. Actually, I'm pretty sure there's three, but I'm lazy, and the software I built requires manual entry of all the teams, and so the Diamondbacks game I, I completely forgot to put into the system. So we're only going to have the Astros at the Twins and then the Braves at the Phillies. The program predicted that the Twins would win with 75% accuracy and that the Phillies would win with 62% accuracy. The Twins went on a lose, of course, but the shortstop for the Braves said some offhand stuff about Bryce Harper, and he got really mad, and they smoked the Braves 10-2. This, being the first successful bet, was absolutely huge, but being 1-4 for four wasn't voting too well. <laughs> 
The next day, the Phillies and the Braves played again, and the simulator predicted that the Braves would win over the Phillies by a large margin, and so I placed a bet on the Braves. I really hope that nobody finds out about this. Deep down, I knew the Phillies would win, though, which, amazing, but terrible for my simulator. This brought its record to 1 for 5, making it only 20% accurate. Of course, this is a small sample size, but I would have expected it to be way better than this, especially in a game with coin flip odds. I think I'm going to change a few things up before we do the big World Series bet. First things first, we need to add foul balls. I just, I just forgot to add them. I couldn't really figure out how to determine if a foul ball was hit by the StatCast API, and so I'm just going to assume a constant rate per batter. I'm just going to hard code league averages and calculate whether or not a pitch will be a foul ball based on that. I'd expect this to be a little bit more biased towards hitters, because now instead of just a strike at the end, they have a chance that the strike is instead of foul, and so like it, it'll stop a lot of strikeouts. Second thing relief and closer pitchers. Arguably a huge part of the game is the fact that the starting pitcher only usually pitches for around half of the game. I then implemented some code that simulates fatigue on the starting pitcher and then subs in random relief and closer pitchers throughout the game. So after adding those two things in, I think we're ready to bet on the World Series at this point. <laughs> So the Phillies didn't make it to the World Series, which makes me want to flip cars and light things on fire, but I'm a civilized human being, so I'm only going to do that once the Eagles lose the Super Bowl. We have the Texas Rangers and the Arizona Diamondbacks. I loaded them up into the new enhanced simulator and then ran it. And the 2023 World Series champion will be the Texas Rangers with a win percent chance of 54%. However, according to the sports book, the Texas Rangers actually have a 61% chance of winning, which means the most financially optimal play is actually to bet against them. It's important to note here that we're not just trying to bet on who wins the game, we're actually betting against the sports book, and this is the first time I've run into this throughout the entire simulation. And my $250 bet is placed. I'm never going to see that money again. <laughs> 